Hello everyone and welcome back to Factory Town, where in the last episode we managed to set up quite a lot of production. We are now producing clothes. We are also producing some of the forged materials, namely the iron plate and nails. We have got a reasonable economy of red coins at the moment. We're just waiting on a little bit more room to be made over here before we can set up our lumber mill to hook up to... Uh, or rather the um, a forester over here to hook, hook up to our lumber mill. I'm not entirely sure that we're going to leave our lumber mill there, though. I may move them. I may move them elsewhere. Uh, what be the problem down here, guys? Uh, ah, we have way, way, way too many things there. All right. Mm. This is going to be a problem, isn't it? Um... Okay, I feel that we may in fact need a bit of an adjustment here. Okay, uh, right, drop that off for now. I may simply have to have this wagon do this manually for the time being. Go ahead and move that down there. Uh, do we have another wagon free anywhere? No, not really. Okay, well, we'll... Set up another wagon just to move the planks along for the time being. We'll just set that, that one up for now. Uh, actually, this wagon doesn't necessarily need to be there anymore, thinking about it. I'll leave it for now, but uh, we, we should be able to get a couple of other things on the move. All we need is for this one to have planks and stone delivered for it. But one of the things that uh, I was looking at off camera is I'm aware that there is a way to cook food and improve its value. That's been in there since a long time ago when I first played one of the very early versions. The kitchen is now gated behind base level 3. And again, base level 3 requires leather. So I think we need to start producing leather. Uh, to get leather, we're going to require this. It'll produce a little bit more... Um, Fertilizer, but leather will be produced on occasion. Uh, but I feel that maybe we need a little bit more down here. We we have more than enough output. Right, what we can do is add in, hopefully this, will that help? Ah, wait, we're going to need an additional grabber, and I think this may help us. So if I do that there, there we go. That's what we needed. We have now largely emptied out the production here. Is that strictly what we need? Not entirely certain about this. Well, nothing else. We are starting to produce some leather, so I suppose that does help. Okay, well, it might be a very slow process, but... Uh, it is doing something, so uh, that's good enough for me, I suppose. Um, do we really need these barns? That is a big question. I'm not sure we need chicken to be held in a barn of all places. So, how about we get rid of the barn? How about instead we build a silo? We can see how much this will hold. Um, we could even have it over here, perhaps, but, um, no, I think, I think having a silo here would be okay. How much can that hold? Uh, it should be able to hold a reasonable amount, it seems. Right. If I have you draw chicken from there, over here, that should be fine. And you can do much the same. Let's bring that all the way over here. There we go. As for the barn... Here, I don't think we particularly need it. We should be able to do much the same with this barn there. We will set it up as a silo. I think that would be a very good first step. But uh, let's go ahead and set these up. They can be much, much smaller this way. Uh, let's first get the grabber down. Set it up for picking up only fertilizer to start with. There we are. And then pop down just two cloth conveyor belts. That is much much neater. Uh, unfortunately, it does necessitate the destruction of this one. Wop wop. Goodbye. 
Uh, actually, eventually that one can be something else, I suppose. But uh, this should... Let's see if I can't grab you. You can bring from this silo over there. There we go. And the next one, we want this from here. Bring from that silo up there. And finally, uh, this wee one. Can grab from that silo as well. There we go. Perfect. Now, well, actually, the thing with, with this... Uh, there we go, fishing. Oh, it's a fishing boat. Oh. Well. That's a little less awesome. I'll be honest. Not as much of a fan. Hmm. Oh, well. Um, that said... No, actually, we've... I've made a bit of a mistake here. What I need here instead... Let's go for leather here. Let, we'll bring leather out instead let's uh have where are my wagons that well if we go in there i should be able to just delete this out there we go and it can store the leather this way okay the reason why we should keep the barn is that uh fertilizer is something that i would actively like to be able to build with so it does seem likely that i'm going to need that going into a barn so that the barn can uh, make that available to me for construction. There we go. This should be fine though. So your wagon needs to draw across to there. I've got two more. There we go. Let's uh, grab from here. Draw that up. And finally, we've got you as well. So there we are. Oops. My bad. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted. My bad. There we go. I'll drop that off over there. Okay. So we're producing a little bit of leather. That's fantastic. Where is the nearest? Oh, I don't strictly need you there. So let's grab this ladder and bring that up. And what we will do instead here is we will set up a simple little cloth conveyor. Just drawing things down. We need to pop the grabber on here. Honestly, the grabber is probably the best thing in the logistics. There we are. That is so much more convenient. Perfect. There we go. So, we should be stockpiling some leather. Uh, oh, we are not, in fact, moving leather over there. Uh, oh, no, there we are. We have got four. We are almost out of room in there, though. That isn't so great. Um, I'm going to say get rid of that for now. There we go. We only need a tiny bit more leather, and then we're sorted for upgrading our building. With that, we'll be able to do quite a few new things. Let's go ahead and uh, build these out down here. There we go. And there we go. Let's go ahead and upgrade. Finally, we've now got four more houses. The Apothecary, which should be where we can sell bandages. And, of course, the kitchen. Fantastic. And we can actually already go straight. <laughs> wow. We're, we're going to wait on that one, though. I don't think we need to be pushing that one quite this early. No, no, no. But we definitely do want the apothecary. So, is that something I can build right now? Ooh, there we go. We can already get a fishing boat. Um, so, I would assume that the fishing boat would just be able to deliver resources. Huh. That is a very interesting possibility. Let's get some houses down. I'm sure, we'll have another one there. And perhaps one here. Ooh. I guess that house can have a bit of a pathway. That shouldn't be a problem. There we go. And we can have these brought down there. There we go. Beautiful. Let's get all of these houses upgraded as well. That'll give us a bit of extra room to play with in terms of our population. There we are. That's actually given us quite a lot of room to play with. Glorious. Now, there are fish down here. That's a lot of fish, mind you, as well. Hmm. I wonder on this one. I guess I would need some sort of silo. Maybe around here so the fishing boat could just draw it back. Possibly. Let's go ahead and, and build that and just see how that goes. Alright, and... Can you even get there? I wonder. No, 
No, you cannot. That does not surprise me. Okay, I had to check, though. Come on. <laughs> right, let's uh, pop this down about here. Um, sure. About there. The fishing boat can just draw from there and deposit over here. Oh, well, that's super useful. I like that. I don't recall fishing boats being a thing in the game previously, so that that's uh, something new for me. Let's get a wagon down, and this wagon can draw the fish, and pop them in the fish and uh, the food market. That'll be quite useful. There you go, a little bit of extra money. Wonder how much the fish are selling for. Oh, they are red coins as well. Very nice. Okay, well we've got the the uh, fishing boat. Let's go for at this point medicine. Let's get that one done as well. Now we are producing leather at this point. Not a whole lot of it, to be fair. Um, I'm going to say that perhaps this wagon should at this point start moving that over here. A bit of a winding, wending way, but I would very much like to be able to deposit some of the leather just over here in the woods. Actually, let's go for stone to keep with our previous system. There we go. And we can go for stone bridges and just draw this out. There we go. I am pretty happy with that. There we are. Okay, we'll add in a quick road. Now, the only problem with this is... Ooh, my fishing boat can no longer get over here. Ah, that's a bit of a pain, actually. Um, we'll have a think about it. We will have a think about that one. I could, of course, make a proper bridge, I guess. But uh, for now, we'll go with this one. Leather should be brought down to the lumber mill. The lumber mill... Uh, huh, does not make books. Where does... Ah, okay. Well, well, that's an interesting one. All right, uh, let's go. Oh, I could have you go the long way around, I suppose. But uh, no, I think we should be able to manage this. Uh, let's go ahead and pull down the terrain a little bit. Make a bit of room. We are going to want a new workshop. So workshop, just bang smack there. Should do nicely. Right, you, I want you to bring, well, the leather over here, frankly. Let's set this up to make books. Alternatively, I could, at this stage, move this along. Um, yes, I think we'll wait on that and we'll uh, eventually set up uh, an intermediate location for that. Let's uh, let's have this wagon. Uh, where are you going? This wagon can just drop this, this off over there for now. I should be fine. Uh, I may make uh, another bit of a bridge there, but for the time being that seems to, to be going okay. We're, we're stockpiling piling a little bit of, of leather and that, that's fine. Now, with that, of course, we could, if it were our desire, make a cloak. And that would be... Ooh, wow. You go all the way for something like this. It's a rather large investment. So instead of making the shirt, we make the cloak. Or we could make the shirt and turn 10 gold into 12 blue. With the addition of one leather and two wool. I'm honestly not sure if uh, which one of those would be the more useful for me. So I think I'll, I'll leave it as is for the time being. We've got a good amount of, of red coins coming in. I don't really want to mess that up. Okay, well we've got the leather. We've got uh, the, the base built up. But what we really want right now is a kitchen. And that was uh, part of uh, the whole point of getting that built up. Now the kitchen. Much like the... Uh, much like the forge, will accept fuel. I'm starting to feel though that this is getting quite, 
quite clogged around here. And that is not a good thing. That is not a good thing at all. If I wanted to have the green mill feeding into the kitchen, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna start hitting some pretty big issues. I feel it may be a big redesign on the cards. I think maybe having a new a new farm over here feeding into a grain mill, feeding into a kitchen, and indeed bringing a, along some some of the other uh, materials to make into some delicious, delicious food. Of course, we could put something down here and just take straight out of the silo here. Could even deliver the fuel direct across, thanks to the uh, the barn there with the fertilizer, and we've got plenty of fuel. Um, but I, I think we're already doing quite a lot of stuff over there. I mean, we would have to carry the food down. Well, um, there's a lot of ways that we could play this. I think we're going to make a new area out here. Just make some bread. Let's start simple, and then we can we can build up from there. So, first and foremost, we're going to want a farm. We can get a farm. Hmm. What are we lacking to build a farm, then? 20 planks, really? I see. It's very interesting. Let's go ahead and drop those off for now. There we are. Yes, I guess we uh, are a little bit too excited with the, the use of all of those planks. Let's uh, move some of the logs across instead then. That should help out a fair bit. There we go. Alright, let's get uh, the farm up and running, but that is a very clear indicator that we do need that forester set up. Actually, probably a bit more than the farm initially. We could pop the forester down here. Uh, we don't strictly require that this forester draw uh, have a, a shoot or anything like that, so the, the front door isn't that necessary to us. In fact, this little location here would be amazing. Okay, let's let's set that one up first. It, that was something that was on the cards and has been on the cards for quite some time. So let's just bite the bullet and get that done, shall we? I think that would probably be uh, a much wiser use of our time right now. There we go. Right, then peeps, we're going to need you to move out of the way, I'm afraid. Our right, forester, and uh, we can pop that right about there. There we go. Right, so you're going to crack on to work straight away. Next up, we're going to want a conveyor because we're going to have to lift these logs up. Then we can drop them down, but we're going to have to lift them up first. Um, we don't. I don't believe you can go subterranean, which is a bit of a shame, honestly. But, uh, <laughs> that's just the way that's going to be. Uh, right, so how would we like to do this? Let's have a look at our scaffolding first then. So if we want just a regular scaffold, going up somewhere like that, grab the lower type, Let's bring that all the way up. There we are. And we could turn around about here is where we would want to turn around and start heading along toward the uh, this connection here so let's pop that in there we go all right this is going to be a fairly expensive ramp up but there's not a lot we can do about that one i'm afraid uh, we're going to want flat there then a ramp, and another one. There we go. And at this stage, we are probably safe to bring it across. There we go. Indeed, we are. Perfect. And there, we can most likely drop it into a chute. We'll see, but uh, let's drop that off for now. Uh, you can do the same, please and thank you. There you go. 
Now we just need to bring this all the way down. There we are. And that would be the final ramp there. Okay. Once this is set up, then our lumber for the main base will be protected. And that really got to be the focus for us right now. So, first and foremost, cloth belt. There we are. Now, the question is, can we switch to a shoot at this point? Yes, we can. Perfect. So, there we go. That should work its way down. Absolutely wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. There we go, then. So, that is no longer going to need all of these people delivering wood over here. I'll keep one. No, actually, no. Uh, I won't. I won't keep them working on that. Let's get you to drop that off. I may... Hmm. I could have it uh, drop a little bit of wood into a, a silo or something like that, or maybe just a barn for the storage of wood. So that I do have access to that resource at all times. There we go, I can make a poultice now. Uh, with just a little bit of herbs, and that will make an enormous amount of money for us. That would probably be well, well worth it. Uh, let's have a quick look in here. We wanted to make a poultice, we just need some extra herbs. Uh, salves uh, could be made in the kitchen. That's uh, an actual medical rep. Um, sure, let's get some poultices being made. And in fact, we've got a bunch of these peeps who can come over here immediately and help us with that. Actually works out quite well for us. Excellent. You, however, not needed over here anymore. Same with you, I'm afraid. And you as well. Now, we are going to want some sort of barn or something around here. So that we are stockpiling some of those resources. I feel that's going to be a pretty huge requirement. Once you're done there, you can just... Uh, actually, let's move you over here so I can clearly see you. Um, yeah, I, I think having a barn stockpile some of this is a genuine necessity. So, uh, what would be the best way to deliver this to a barn? Oops, that's not quite what I wanted to do. I guess we could have a barn over here. Uh, okay, let's uh, go ahead and use my tools to remove uh, this resource right there. In fact, that one and that one. What are you doing? No, afraid not. Uh, also, afraid not to you. There we go. Right, so we're going to want a regular old barn. Well, let's actually bring the the connection point down first. So, we need some regular scaffolding then. And just bring that all the way down there. And we'll then use a splitter to ensure that an equal amount... Oh, that was uh, in the wrong place there. Uh, an equal amount of wood is sent in this direction. Ah, logistics. So good. So very good. There we go. Ah, that's perfect. And we can have... Nice big old barn. Right there, I know this is taking a bit of room that would otherwise be useful for for houses, but uh, not having to worry about my main base being chock full of, of wood is actually worth it to me, I'll be perfectly honest with you. All right, let's drop that off there because this barn will always have enough wood for me to, to generally make use of otherwise. There we go. Uh, right, I would actually like to get a lot of... Oh, wow, the... Forest is going to have 10 people. My lord. Well, that's very good. That's, uh, we don't need nearly that many people. Not even close. Let's let, leave it at five. Um, we don't need it down here either. Uh, okay. So, what are we able to train? We can't actually learn anything right now. That is good. That is exactly what we were waiting for. 
So I'm afraid we need you to go. There we are. Right, so the next stage then is a workshop. We get the workshop set up correctly. Like so. We would like you to be building books. There we are. Now I'm going to want one of the Well actually since I'm I'm moving the the leather over there, I could simply have another wagon bringing leather from the main base. Oh. Do I not have wagon wheels, perhaps? Ah, I do not. Okay, that's a shame. Well, that is quite the shame. Well, hmm. So we're going to need to ensure that we have a production of wagon wheels. Well, that is going to be a bit of a potch. Um, honestly, setting up a, a... More and more I'm finding that all of the, the buildings that we've got just kind of crammed in here. Not really working to our benefit, I'll be honest. Uh, it would be much better to set up dedicated uh, production areas elsewhere. Um, for example, over here, we could happily do that. Uh, in fact, we're producing paper here. I could have you also produce planks. Sure. All right. I think I've got a good idea of what we can do just down here. So we'll have this one for planks. This way, yep. Yeah. We can have this workshop make books and wagon wheels, or rather wooden wheels. The wooden wheels can be dropped off into a barn where they will then just basically sit. Uh, they don't need to go anywhere else from there. And that will work quite nicely, I fancy. Let's pop that one down only want wooden wheels and with that we will reasonably speaking not run out of anything um a rail stop Ooh, makes rail carts deposit or retrieve from the buildings based on the rail stop well i mean we saw railway i wonder how the railway works then that is actually Quite intriguing. There we go. We've got a bunch of uh, of wagon wheels being deposited. That is perfect. That is what we needed. Right. So, books-wise, let's go ahead and build our school. Ah, what are we lacking for the school? Stone, really? Well, wow. that is actually quite impressive. Um, well, I suppose it had to happen eventually. Uh, alright, well, let's grab some of the stone and just bring that over there. There we go. In fact, let's take two people and do that. There we go. Now that's going to take a little while to fill in. It would probably be better to have a dedicated barn, frankly. Um... We'll have three working on it for now. But I'm very, very happy to have the, that forest set up. And that forest it is in a fantastic location. So many trees are available there. And we've almost filled that barn, my lord. That's actually quite impressive. Uh, there we go. All right. I'm pretty happy with that overall. All right, we're almost up to the point that we can build a new school. Let's go ahead and pop this down. Right there. There we go. And let's just bring across the books. And with that, we should have a much, much better education system. We'll be able to produce... Oh, we definitely need that to be set to books only. That was a bit silly of me. Uh, where are the books? There we go. Now, is there anything on there? I would hope not. Are they trying to pull wagon wheels? Can I see wagon wheels there? No, that is definitely books. Hooray! Right, okay, so with that, we'll be able to... We're producing 10 research points 
with every book. So, for example, something like mana purification would be something we could reasonably do. I really want railways. Oh my lord, do I want railways. That said, metal conveyor belts also. Wow. Um, we'll, we'll wait on railways. Um, so, what could we sell for that? We could straight up sell iron plates. All right. That's reasonable. The only problem here is that we are filling this barn so fast. Yikes. Might need to have a look into that. But uh, for the time being, let's have a look at the poultices. Yeah, we've got, uh, we've got 10 poultices. That's brilliant. Uh, well, can we build an apothecary then? Yes, we can. That is glorious. Let's go ahead and pop this down. Right about there. We are going to want poultices only being removed. So get logistics, grabber. Ah, we're going to have to have this lift up a little bit. I didn't quite pay enough attention to that, my bad. There we go. Now, poultices. Let's get you. And then off conveyor belts. Now, will that start generating cash? Ah, the poultices. Ah, try it. They are just red. Well, I mean, to be fair, it's not terribly bad. Given that, then, we don't need the shirts to produce. Um, red coins. We could go for instead cloaks. Let's turn off shirts and go for cloaks. We're going to need to deliver some leather, but I think that's something that we can do. Let's grab leather from over here, deliver it down to here. There we go. And we'll set this up instead to deliver cloaks. That should de generate us a small, a modest income of the blue coins. Whether we can get that reasonably uh, fast, I don't know. I suspect not, actually. We'll just have to see. We've got the leather there now, but uh, the the wool is starting to suffer. Ah, okay. That is probably uh, due to the fact... Well, actually, no. No, we've got all the animal feed we could possibly want. It is because we don't have enough people working here. Okay, let's upgrade the pasture even further. Oh, my Lord, what's that? Earth crystals? We're now producing at 410%. Uh, I don't think we're going to be doing much better than that, ever. So we're just going to have to accept that one. Uh, but all right, we've hit the uh, hit the limit of our wool production. That is a bit of a pain. Oh well. Uh, still, we've got everything set up down here. We will select railways, and hopefully we can get that going reasonably soon. We are now bringing in hopeless amounts of red coins. So with that in mind... I think, yes, in the, we've mostly in this episode just adjusted a couple of things. We've now got the Forester. It took us this long to truly satisfy our building materials demand. But I think we've done a good job. We've got a barn now for storing the logs. We're no longer having to have kind of a spaghetti of transports down here. It's still not ideal, and this whole section realistically could do with being redesigned. But... I think in the next episode, we're going to focus on getting the kitchen up and running. We've got uh, a little bit of uh, work down here with the fishing boat. That's actually pretty cool. I think getting a farm and a farm area over here specific for the production of bread and other cooked um, foods would be uh, a way forward for us. Let's have a look on the economy of what that would give us. Uh, so just the... let's go for foods, for example. Bread... 12 gold coins by itself. That's actually quite nice. Um, cooked chicken. Get us five red coins. Cooked fish. 
three red coins. That's actually pretty cool. Fish stew. What does that require? Doesn't say, but I'm quite interested in it. Uh, let's have a look. Is there anything that'll give us blue coins easily? I can't imagine there will be. Oh, uh, well, I mean iron plates. Shoes. Hmm. Maybe that's something we can look at. Remedy fish oil. Ah. Fish oil is made in the kitchen. Ooh, that might be very good. An iron um, wheel, steam pipe, reinforced planks. I believe that requires just iron um, plank, uh, sorry, iron bars, nails, and planks. So that's definitely a possibility for us. But that's something that we're going to have to look at in the next episode, which will, as I mentioned, focus on getting a proper kitchen setup going. We may find that the kitchen can do a lot more for us than, than I'm thinking of right now, which is basically just food. We may find that it can, in fact, get us the uh, blue coins with fish oil and the likes. But we will also possibly look into specifically getting a blue coin economy up and running. Because right now, we've only got three blue coins, and we need a lot more than that. But that's going to be it from me. I really do hope you've enjoyed and will be joining me in the next. But until then, and as always, do take care, everyone.